Hello again. It's fast approaching at 10 to 9. Let's take a look at this story now. Art Space. That's an art gallery that's located in a warehouse in a light industrial area of Durban. The gallery is currently hosting its 13th annual affordable art show. This show includes a collection of fine art, including oil paintings, ceramics, prints, photographs, drawings, and more from various artists. Karen Bradkey joins us from our studios in Durban to talk to us about the show. Karen, it's a, such a huge pleasure to have you with us. A very good morning and welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about the concept, the Affordable Art Show. How did that come about? Well, it came about over 13 years ago when we were starting the gallery here in Durban and um, they were having an affordable art fair in London and I thought it was a good idea. So we started the concept here and um, it's pretty much remained the same over the years. This year, the maximum sale price for any artwork is 3,500 rand. And we have over 80 artists exhibiting. That is absolutely incredible because when you hear the word art, you automatically assume it is just so far uh, out of my disposable income bracket. I should not even entertain it. But why is it important that even those in the lower LSM and those who perhaps can't afford much have something that's beautiful, that's an artwork in their homes and in their living spaces? Well, that's why we did this show is because we have everything from flowers to landscapes to more conceptual work, drawings. Uh, it's just everything. So you come to the gallery and hopefully you like something and you take it home with you. Mm. And how does it benefit the artist? Because, you know, I would assume uh, that they would want to, uh, quite a large markup so that they can make a lot of money. Uh, but the artists who do this, why do they decide to sell their work uh, at such a low price? Well, maybe sometimes the work has been in their studios for the course of the year or something like that, and they just want to give it a try to, to sell it. Other people have made works specifically for this show, and a lot of uh, the artists do it because they support the gallery and they like working with us. Okay, now I've heard the saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But I can't help but wonder uh, if there have been any uh, improvements or anything different that, they, that uh, your regulars can expect this year? Um, no, I think it's pretty much what we usually offer. And that's what people like, is they know when they come to Art Space for this exhibition that they will be getting good quality work at an affordable price. Mm. And how do you stay relevant? I mean, you, you talked to me about this concept and how it's 13 years in. How do you make sure that you do continue to be relevant? Well, it goes with the marketing. And I spend many hours a day marketing not only to people like SABC in the newspapers, but also to my artists and try to encourage them to keep relevant with their art themselves. So we hope we always offer something that's somebody will come to the gallery and find something they like. Mm -hmm. uh, speak to me now about uh, some of the changes that the, uh, the art space will be having. I hear there, there might be a bit of a transformation. Uh, can you take, take us through those in the venue? Yes, this is our last exhibition at the gallery as Art Space Durban the Gallery. What we originally started the space for, which is why we spell it Art Space, space in capital letters, is for the size of the venue, which our gallery is quite large, it's 180 square meters in the main gallery alone. And that space will become studios, which is why I started Art Space th uh, over 13 years ago, or 12 years ago. And it was meant to be studio spaces because I was a uh, fine art tech graduate and I wanted a studio to work in where it was a community of artists working together. And we had a floor of studios. Mm. And now we're turning the gallery space also into working spaces for artisans. Mm -hmm. Do you have an email address or a website or any means of communication? Perhaps someone at home is thinking, hmm, I'm interested in that. I'd like to get involved either as an artist or perhaps as a consumer. Where can we get a hold of you? Well, you can always look on our website, which is www.artspacedurban.com, I think, artspace-durban.com, 
or you can contact me on artspacedurban at gmail.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much uh, for your information, Karen Bradke. She joins us from our studios uh, in uh, Durban to speak to us about uh, that uh, interesting concept. I love it. The annual affordable Thank art you. show. And I think it just reminds us that aesthetics are so important for uh, our psyche, just as an individual and as a community. Making our spaces around us beautiful doesn't have to be expensive. It just means going out and taking a look at the clouds, or taking a look at trees. Unfortunately, we don't all have those luxuries. But this time of year where the weather is beautiful, taking a walk in a beautiful uh, environment, it actually does a lot for the heart, for the soul, for the mind. So Phil, let us know just how beautiful our environment will be looking in terms of weather. It's over to you.